Hey everyone, it's Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and we have in front of us Milwaukee's new M18 compact heat gun. That's model number 2688-20 and we're going to go through some quick specs and walk around the tool before we compare it to our corded heat gun that we have next to us. Now this heat gun has a max temperature of 875 degrees Fahrenheit and flows 6 CFM of airflow. Now if you look at the tool, move it around, it has a safety switch that's ambidextrous on both sides so that you cannot put this in something in a case in a bag have a battery attached and then the trigger gets pulled and it obviously could start a fire but beyond that you also have a convenient ladder hook so if you're somewhere where you want to hang this because you do have some hot areas and you can't always just set these down on the back now also in this you have an LED light up front which is also really nice because you can see what you're heating up and also get a good idea of the direct area you're heating up if you're in a tight place Speaking of tight places, we primarily use our tools to apply tint to cars inside and outside. So we're in tight places. So we picked up Milwaukee's accessory kit for this. You can use these tools or add-ons to simply put heat in a tighter area, put heat in a wider area, or even go around corners. So if you do things like remove stickers or even soldering, this might be something that you want to look at. So on to our testing where we put Milwaukee's M18 compact heat gun against a full-size corded model. This is Milwaukee's 8975-6. It's a 400 watt heat gun with 1000 degrees Fahrenheit max temperature. The corded one is obviously a little more powerful. Results might be skewed, but we wanted to go through this, see how fast they both heat up, and if this M18 is gonna work for your application. So the first thing that we did was pull out our old meat thermometer and put the guns up against each other. We gave them a minute to see which one could get the meat thermometer the hottest. The M18 came up to 213 degrees, and while we had the corded one in there, we let that one run again for a minute, and that one brought the meat thermometer up to 254 degrees approximately. That's a good test, but obviously like many, this is not very scientific. We wanted to kind of see exactly what these are gonna do, so we put a coin in our vise. We thought, okay, what one will get it hottest after 30 seconds? And we used the Milwaukee Thermal Imager to figure that out, and I think that the ambient air temperature in the shop of being right around 55 degrees might have skewed this, but we got the coin up to 70-ish degrees with the M18, and using the corded model, we were able to get the coin up to around 90, 91 degrees at the highest point. I think heat dissipation here was another issue. So we thought, we gotta take this a step further. Let's get into some solder how fast can we melt solder? So with the M18 model, we were able to melt the solder in 25 seconds where we actually got a drip. Then we came back with the corded model and we were able to get a drip off of it in 12 seconds. Now you'll notice the way that the solder dripped with the M18 model, it was a little bit slower and almost seemed as it got farther away, it wanted to get harder. That is probably because the corded model was a lot hotter and caused the drip to come right off. So there is a difference between these two in the way they heat things up and how fast they get hot. Now, but with that said, does that stop us or does that change anything as to how we would use it? In our case, doing tint, removing stickers in automotive work, Heck no, being able to get away from the cord, walk around a car, not have to think extension cords on the ground, how do I get in this tight area, if I'm on the inside, if I'm trying to get in the back of a window, this thing would be awesome. The fact that it has a ladder hook on it means that I don't have to find a place to lay it on its back. I can hang it up and not worry about the heat in this area touching anything that I don't want it to. So I think that the compromise, if there is one for the heat not coming as fast or as hot as a larger full-size model, is well worth it for the M18 model. This model has a three-year warranty, and you can find out a little bit more on it at workshopaddict.com at our blog. I want you to make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like in this video. We have a lot of giveaways and different projects and more tool news coming. We appreciate your time, guys. Have a great day.